Good morning. Turkish police, they used tear gas and rubber bullets to break up groups of activists promoting gay and transgender rights. Yeah. This happened during a pride event that was held despite it being banned for a fifth year. So in Sweden and all over Western societies we have these very good-hearted social justice warriors and they want to fight for the rights of all minorities basically including the gay and the transgender but also also the Islamists. I don't have a problem with gays or transgender. I really don't. Just let them do whatever they want. That's my philosophy. But I don't pretend to be tolerant, you see. It's very easy for me because I can, you know, I can respect people who will contribute to society in a good way. And the other ones I can despise, even if they are a minority, you see. No problem. But uh, the very good hearted, they have to tolerate everyone you know, if they are a minority. So, uh, and then it becomes a problem. It doesn't really work because the Islamists, they don't love them back. See, just watch these guys, the good hearted, just watch them go to an Islamic country promoting their idea about respect and uh, fighting for the rights of minorities, they would get killed, very likely. Well, that's how it works. And uh, you know, if I was the president of Sweden, they would hate me. And still, I could be the one who actually saved them. You see? They have a problem, these guys, the good-hearted. Uh, yesterday there were three shootings in Stockholm, different locations, places that I know very well. You know, I left Stockholm in March. Uh, it's interesting to watch this, what's going on in Stockholm now. You know, when I started to speak up publicly, I talked about things that was happening and was about to happen. And it actually got worse in this very short time. Reality is worse. So people better start listening to us. We keep telling them that this is happening and this is what's going to happen. And they better start listening. So now I'm talking about... Uh, uh, sometimes I talk about civil war in Sweden. And people say, no, you're crazy. This can't happen. But it's ca it can, yes. I think it's going to happen at some point. Yeah, people better start listening. Finally, I want to mention this. Trump, Donald Trump, became the first sitting US president to set foot into North Korea. I saw him shaking hands with this Kim Jong-un, the leader of North Korea. It was great. But something happened when I was watching this. I pictured Hillary Clinton standing there, shaking hands with this little guy. And it was impossible. This couldn't happen. We need leaders like Trump. They have a good heart. Yes. Hillary, he, she didn't have a good heart, you see. You talk about crazy people. And you say, well, this person is crazy. But when you talk about Hillary, you know, I was so happy when she was not elected. And I want to thank you again, you Americans, not electing Hillary Clinton. She could never go to North Korea. Uh, she didn't know when to be polite and when to show muscles. She didn't have this judgment. <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. All right, so thanks again, Americans, for electing Donald Trump. It's good. It was good for all of us. All right, that's all. Bye.